So what's your attitude toward yourself? What's your self image? How do you approach your life? Do you view things from a half empty or a half full perspective? Hello friends. Welcome to my channel. Happy Wednesday. My name is Michelle and I hope you're having a wonderful week so far. What is your attitude towards yourself? What is your self image? How do you approach life? Do you view things from a half empty or a half full perspective? So do you believe that you can change your negative thinking and your negative self-talk? Would you like to become a person that views life from a positive thinking and a positive self-talk perspective? Are you wondering if there are any benefits to overcoming negative thinking and negative self-talk? I'm so glad you asked because according to an article that I found from Mayo Clinic, the positive thinking that usually comes with optimism is a key part to effective stress management and effective stress management is associated with many health benefits. I'm sure that one's a shocker, right? And I agree when they say that if you tend to be a pessimist, don't despair because you can learn positive thinking skills. Sweet. I think that's some pretty good news if you can absolutely learn positive thinking skills. Along with positive thinking will come positive self-talk. You change from the inside out, which begins with shifting your negative thinking and self-talk to kinder positive thinking and positive self-talk. Words do matter. What do you say to yourself that you would not say to anyone else? What words are your nemesis? Mine is need. Even if you're using positive words, what's the energy with these words? Do you use positive words but have a negative feeling when you're saying them? This too will shift as you shift to a more positive self image. Oh, judgment. Begin to pay attention to the thoughts of judgment that you have about yourself or the ones that you have about others. You see, this will shine a light on the areas that you have that negative thinking. So give yourself grace. We can't always control our first thought, but we can absolutely control all the other thoughts that follow that. So please do not be ashamed of yourself or your negative thoughts that you're having right now. You can absolutely shift the old pattern. And shifting that old pattern of negative self-talk and thinking begins with awareness. It is the decision to no longer speak to yourself in a negative manner. What if you dropped the old pattern of negative self-talk? Look for ways to flip the script in your head from negative to positive and be patient with yourself. It is a practice. Here are a few examples on how to do this. Okay, so you have the repeat thing coming in your head is, I'm not able to change. Okay, go ahead and shift that to, I'm willing to give change a try. Or maybe you have it of, I don't know how to do this. That's okay, you can shift that too. Just simply say, that's okay. I may not know right now and I'm figuring it out. The answers are coming. The answers are always coming. And I know for certain that this one works as I use it. I use it for myself. And it was given to me by my coach and I'm giving it to you to try it out. Pause, step back, get clear about why you're speaking to yourself in a negative manner. Take notice of your self-talk. You'll be more aware as you pay attention to your patterns, the things that trigger you into that negative thinking and that negative self-talk. Pay attention to your repeat or nagging questions that you have in your mind. So turn that question into a sentence. That's your thought error. That's important to notice your thoughts. And that's a great way to do it by changing your naggy questions that you have into a sentence. Practice positive thinking. 
begin to create a habit of positive thinking. Have you heard of mirror work before? If not, please let me introduce you to the, to the late Louise Hayes and her mirror work. Louise says that mirror work is the most effective method that she found for learning to love yourself and see the world as a safe and loving place. And I encourage you to read a post that I read on what is mirror work. And I'll put that link down below for you. I'm going to leave you with one final thought today. Remember who you are. Yes, you are special. And don't let yourself talk you out of that. Thank you so much for your time. The link to my private coaching application is down below. I hope you have a wonderful week and I appreciate you. Okay, come on. <laughs> Just be easy, okay? Just be easy. Oh, 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 oh,